A very good morning, thanks for clicking on to the Tuesday edition of Vogan's European Outlook. Going to look at the GFS uh, surface and precipitation chart over the next few days, looking at the European perspective, and uh, we open the uh, Atlantic door once again. After high pressure domination over the last several days, we are introducing Atlantic weather back in once again. So the area of high pressure that we've had uh, parked over the British Isles in recent days will start to um, retreat back south once again and allow a series of fronts to come in from the Atlantic. So as we skip through the sequence here, you can see that uh, uh, the first system comes in during the middle portion of this week. Then we've got another boundary coming in uh, during the, the latter half of Wednesday and the end of Thursday. And then eventually what we're going to start to see is uh, with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south, uh, squeezing the ice bars, we're going to have a fairly brisk uh, westerly or even northwesterly airflow. But as the time progresses, we're going to see colder air starting to dig in. And it's once we get past this frontal system uh, during the day on Thursday that we introduce colder air, precipitation is going to change more over the sleet, even to lower levels, but not necessarily down the sea level. But with any kind of elevation, we could be talking about sleet. Uh, hail and even some snowfall and potentially some significant uh, accumulation say above uh, you know a couple of hundred meters here so we are going to have a brief spell of wintry conditions once again but it will be very transient in nature so as you can see here this is as we approach the uh, latter half of the this work week you can see here quite a messy picture a lot of rain uh, wind and then, of course, as the colder air digs in, we're going to see rain uh, and the snow lines start to uh, drop into lower uh, elevations across particularly northern half uh, of Britain here. So parts of high elevation Northern Ireland, uh, the north of England and, of course, Scotland uh, could see a light covering of snow and potentially at significant amounts uh, higher up in elevation here. So as we skip through uh, into the weekend here you can see here that that the uh, latest frontal system pushes through all the while while we've got the next system approaching from from the atlantic you notice here that the the area of high pressure here is starting to strengthen over the azores and that the reason why i bring that up is because that is going to be uh, a significant player as we push into through next week so not this week but next week that is going to become more of a player once again and could have a, a domination uh, through a good chunk of early April at the very least anyway. Still a long way, of course, out. So the next system co comes through a little bit of snow, potentially more in the leading edge um, and across high elevations. More wind, more rain, and you get the general uh, theme here as we push through the weekend. Quite a messy looking picture according to the GFS. And then as we press through the latter half of the week, then we start to see the, the, the jet stream start to retreat north and allowing high pressure, which is interesting is the fact that it's going to be building over the continent and start to kind of have its influence from the southwest, and which would indicate potentially that we're going to start to transport warmer air from, say, the western Mediterranean around this area of high pressure and up into the British Isles here. So while we could still see a, a kind of messy picture, wind, rain, cool temperatures across Scotland and across parts of Northern Ireland, we could be talking about some uh, reasonably uh, strong spring, spring warmth uh, pushing up into at least England and Wales as we press into the next week here. Then a fr another frontal system, of course, this is one model run of the GFS, the details will, of course, change. But what is interesting is that the front uh, pushes through, but weakens, dissipates, and high pressure, as you can see here, starts to build over the British Isles during, uh, particularly this, uh, you know, from about Tuesday, Wednesday onwards, and may hang around for quite some time here as I skip through the loop. You can see that here. We've even got another little intrusion of colder air coming in from the north as well. Uh, but the, to me, folks, the overall emphasis is going to be on, on increasingly drier conditions. And that would um, coincide 
with the the ongoing La Nina, albeit the La Nina is starting to weaken. But with cold waters in the North Atlantic, with a La Nina in place, the emphasis quite often during the April uh, time frame is for drier and high pressure dominated weather. And I think that is where we're going uh, in the grand scheme of things. This is the GFS Ensemble. The upcoming five days, low pressure firmly in charge uh, over Iceland, high pressure over the near continent. We've got systems coming in from the west. But as we skip through this loop, you can see how the low and the trough retreats to the northwest. High pressure starts to build in and we start to kind of shut down the Atlantic here once again. And I think the overall emphasis as we push uh, through potentially the first 10 days of April, for example, we could be talking about increasingly dry conditions across a broad area of the UK. And in terms of temperature wise, that remains to be seen because a lot of that depends on exactly where the area of high pressure sets up. But you can see here, this is say uh, the, the precipitation anomaly here, upcoming seven day period, dry across the majority of the UK, but quite wet as you can see here over the Western side of Scotland. But as we skip through the sequence, eventually, that uh, rain burn um, Atlantic weather starts to retreat to the north and we're left with uh, plenty of yellows and kind of um, darkish yellows indicating well below normal precipitation here. So, like I said, the general emphasis will be on increasingly dry conditions, I think, as we press through next week and into the early portion of April overall here. So, uh, a little taste of winter coming up at the end of the week, but it's short-lived. And uh, hopefully we'll have some decent spring weather to speak about uh, through next week. Hope you have a great day and back in the next couple of days with more. Bye for now.